guys, I'm Sam. I'm Jody. I'm Sarah. I'm Lady. I'm Nathan. Welcome back to our channel, Razor Focused. We've got the whole family here today, and today we're going to do an unboxing on what, Nathan? We're going to be doing an unboxing of the Super ATV power steering kit for the Razor Trail S900 2021 Plus. So we're going to unbox his machine. We're going to be working on his machine for the next several videos, so stay tuned. All right, guys. So here's what we got our box. Um, this is how it arrived right on your doorstep. Um, it probably weighs. Let's give it the old lift test. Uh, I'd say maybe like 25, 30 pounds at most. Um, I don't know what they really quoted out, but that's just a little quick test. So get this opened up. Here we go. All right, so kind of how it comes right here. It's got the uh, paper, I guess. And then we've got some good styrofoam packing. I'm going to assume we've got our instructions over here. We'll set those aside. And then right here, it looks like we have our actual, this is where all your weight is, honestly. It's going to be the actual power steering motor itself. And it's definitely in there good. It doesn't look like there's been any issues with the, uh, I'm about to just break this box real quick. Doesn't look like there's been any issues with stuff moving around for sure, because that's definitely in there tight, and it doesn't look like any of the styrofoam's been uh, like popped or anything. So that's good. It's nice and nice and tight. You know that it's not going to get messed up on the way wherever it's going. Um, got some brackets. Got another. It's going to be for our steering. Another steering. Bracket. Got some all of our new wiring harness. That's good. You don't have to be uh, wiring anything yourself because I know for me personally, I don't really care to do electrical work, especially in something like this because it's easy to mess up. Um, but it's also just nice to have a wiring harness to speed up the actual install itself. So it looks like we got this car box here, this stuff. I love our hardware, all right? So now that I've got everything out, I'm just gonna toss this box on the ground and we can get into laying everything out, all right? All right, cool guys. So now that we got the box out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and open up each one of these and let you guys see what you actually are getting, okay? Um, so first thing first, I'll start with the actual power steering unit, all right? So as you see, and I'm telling you, this, this has some weight to it. I would say that this is an easy 15 to 20 pounds. Like, it, it's good, um, definitely well built. I will say something you need to take note of in the actual manual itself. It does say right here, and I'll go ahead and, well, I needed to read it. Give me a second. It does say right here in the manual on this bottom one. I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you. So it says before installing, ensure um, the gasket, gaskets in electrical connections are properly seated. If gaskets are not seated, use a flathead screwdriver to seat. All right. So that's just something to make sure that you're taking a look at all these electrical areas right here that the gaskets are actually down all right um, now that's not going to be necessarily an issue for the piece itself it's more so just to make sure like hey this could be in shipping it might have got jostled around something like that so it's just a good time to just go ahead and take a look at it so it's just nice that they've put that level of thought into it saying like hey Make sure that you do this stuff up front, so that way later on down the line you're not going to have an issue, okay? And already looking at that, that looks like a pretty heavy-duty unit, too. Yeah, this is definitely big. Um, That's bigger than the it, factory one. Yeah, exactly. It is bigger than the factory one. It's built as a replacement. Um, you won't see later in the video, but if you're using this in one that already does have power steering as a replacement, which is still possible to do, they do have different part numbers, so just be aware of that. Make sure that you actually look. Um, there's a cover that will be underneath like a steering column, okay, where your power steering unit sits. When you install this, you can't use the cover anymore, all right, because it's a lot bigger. You can cut it and trim it if you still want to have like some protection over it. However, it's still rated to be okay without it, okay, so that's just something to be aware of. And we'll look at that when we actually do the install. We'll show uh, the cover on, uh, on my unit. All right, so we'll set that down. We'll keep it moving, all right? So... Right here, we'll just go ahead and get into our brackets. Let's just go ahead and pop these open. They are definitely packaged very well. All 
All right, so moving along, we've got this bracket right here. And this is going to be where like our power, power steering and stuff is going to be mounted up to this bracket as well as this bracket right here. Um, again, you'll see kind of how it goes. Uh, that way, make it easy. But it, there, there's some there's some thick brackets. If I had to guess, it probably looks like about quarter inch thick. Yeah, easily quarter inch. Yeah, thick. if not, maybe like five eighths or something like that. Um, so just on initial impression, it looks good. Doesn't look like there's any issues with like the finish or anything like that. Um, so that's just nice again, like obviously when you're spending your money, you want to make sure that you're kind of getting what you pay for, you know? Um, so it's just nice knowing like, Hey, if they're putting this much level of effort into just the brackets that are going to hold it up that you're not going to see, you know, that the other stuff is going to be well put together as well. And what, how much did that kit cost? So this cost shipped from super ATV is going to cost about $800. Okay. Now, and do you remember Nathan, we may have to look it up. So the, the trail S obviously does not have power strength. The premium does. What was the price difference between the two? Do you remember? I honestly don't remember that off the top of my head. Um, I want to say it's probably close to about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, if I had to make a guess. Now that was again during the time frame that I was buying mine. In that time frame, prices have changed due to outside circumstances, so that's just something to be aware of. Um, so that gap might be larger now, or it might not be as large. So again, just make sure you're taking into account maybe all of the things that you're gonna want to be doing with your machine. The main reason that I'm gonna that I got this power steering. Um, because in all honesty, for the area that we're in right now in North Carolina, it's not that bad. Um, it's still doable. I mean, you've seen us on trails uh, with mom and dad, like doing the same thing that they're able to do. It's more so a matter of um, Laney and I are going to be moving somewhere where the weather is a little colder. So things get stiff in the cold. So I just wanted to kind of have that e ease of steering and not having to worry about the steering possibly being stiffer in the cold. Um, and this will just kind of make it easier in that long run. So that's more so the reason I'm getting into this one right here. Well, to, to give you the idea, the premium was, let's say, $1,500 more. Mm -hmm. You got power steering, a little different shocks, not a big difference. Mm -hmm. You did get the fang lights on the premium, mm -hmm. but the premium was really the power steering one. So yeah. for, you know, you could get the trail last, save yourself, you know, a grand and put the power steering in yourself. Yeah, I mean, and fang lights on Amazon, I think, are like 80 bucks. So yeah, so it's just something to keep in mind. Um, so moving along again, um, we got some... Like it's like a little business card it says it's built for battle, blah 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 from Super ATV. So that's just nice little touch in there. Um, you've got these stickers to put on. I'm not stickers. gonna lie, I'm not exactly sure where they're supposed to go uh, because the unit already does have one right here on it. So maybe if you want to advertise that you did all the work yourself and you put the power steering on, you can smack it on one of the sides or something. Where it's supposed to go is over there on my sticker box. That's where it's supposed to go. Well, good thing there's two. I guess we might be able to spare <laughs> one or two. Um, and then you've got your mounting hardware right here. Um, you'll see what that is here in a little bit whenever we actually get to doing that one. So let's flip this back over. So here's the power steering um, control unit right here. Let me just make sure I call that the right thing. Or it's the ECU is what they call it in the manual, but essentially that's what it is. So just go ahead and set that down. All right, and then moving along, let me see which one this is. So this one is the lower shaft right here. And then looking at it, I mean, it looks uh, it looks to be of quality. It doesn't look like there's any marring or anything in any of the parts that need to be machined out, meaning like where your splines are going to be set up in here. Looks good. Moves along this easily. No, no resistance, so it doesn't look like there's any burrs or anything in the material. Probably um, a good idea that we grease that. Before oh, we, uh, absolutely, yeah. We're definitely going to still, we're, obviously, like any machining work, you always want to, like, take a toothbrush, get out whatever might be left around, and then grease it up. That way you don't have issues down the road. It's easier to grease it while it's out, too, versus... Right. But, yeah, there. definitely based on initial impressions, it look, looks looks to be good. We'll see, though. And then moving along, we've got the upper shaft right here. Same, same build quality. I mean, same thing, just a different area of installation. And then we've got some uh, electrical connectors right here in this bag. Uh, we've got some like heat shrink tubing um, and some splicing in. I don't really know what they're called, but basically you use them the to quick splice in yeah, to cables and stuff like that. I think that's just going to depend on how you want to hook it up to power it. Um, and again, some more mounting hardware up in there. Hey, the good thing looking at the bolts and the brackets, yeah, I'll say there's, looks... there's not a whole lot, which is good. And then right here, you've got your electrical harness. It's already got the shielding on it. 
go ahead and just play this out real quick. Now we can take a look. So let's see here. Starting here, you got what's going to go into your ECU. It's got a light right here. Um, we'll find out what that's for. Maybe for programming, maybe something like that. Uh, we'll definitely have to figure out what that one's going to be for. Huh. You got a fuse right here. Let's see what it is. It's definitely tight. All right, well, I'm not going to make you guys watch me struggle with doing that. Um, so we'll, we'll open that up and see what it is here in a little bit. Um, and right here, what do we got? Looks like a ground. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to look. Yeah. Then you come down to the other end. There's your power and your ground there. And the, I'm assuming the blue is your uh, ignition. ignition. But we're going to double check yeah. all that as we install. I'm not sure what the white yeah, one is. The, we'll the wiring. We'll have to... But you only have two clips, two connections there? Right here? Uh-huh. Yep, so I got two connections um, for the ECU. But there's four connections. That's right, because there. there are some on the uh, power steering unit. Oh, okay. I was like, wait yeah, a second. So. Okay. Yeah, so again, it's a complete kit. Don't don't uh, don't get too too far ahead of it. You know, we'll definitely get this figured out. Just wanted to kind of show you guys what we'll be working with and what you can expect whenever you open it up. Last thing is going to be right in here. And it's just another piece of your mounting. So far, it looks like a pretty straightforward kit, though. And there we go. And that's the last thing. That's the ECU bracket. Yep. Our... But yeah, so as you can see, I mean, this is everything we've got here. Got our wiring harness, our uh, upper and lower shafts. We've got some nice instructions here in a second. As we go, we'll go through those. Um, I've got all of our mounting hardware. Again, these look like quality bolts. Um, I, mean, I think they look stainless steel to me, so that's nice. Um, they're not just sending out some cast stuff. There's some that are stainless and some that are just mild yeah. steel. You can tell the color there. Yeah, you can see that. Cool. And then again, some electrical uh, components. We may or may not use these, um, and you'll kind of see later on in that one. We got our ECU right here, stickers, mounting hardware, and the actual unit itself. And again, this thing looks very, very well put together. I mean, they went all the way out. They've got. Um, paint marker markings on these bolts. So, I mean, they're really taking their time just based on the looks of it, okay? So, yeah, pretty, very cool. Pretty cool, we'll get it get it going. Awesome, thanks, Nathan. Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining us again today. That's our unboxing video of the superatv.com power steering kit for 900S 2021. We're so glad that you joined us. Make sure you like and subscribe. I pray that you have a blessed and amazing every day. And, and stay, stay razor focused. focused.